Right, right, right. Right, right. Take a tube like back on it. Well, we're gonna do something different today. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Four in the morning. It's not four in the morning, but um, what it is is sticky to black. And today, I think we're gonna switch it. We're gonna go back to the real because um, I think we're getting too consumed in the illusion, in the illusion again. Because I'm finding myself having to deal with um, case after case after case, legal matters. And I keep saying to people, that is the illusion. This, that's the fiction. So you don't need to be doing that. You need to get away from it and get into creativity. It's the art or any other form of expression. So it's production more than consumption. Right. So today we're going to do, um, probably do uh, vibrations and um, the trick that Kronos and his buddies are playing on you. You see, what, what Kronos and his buddies are playing on you is waste of your time. And the way they do it is by their incessant, never-ending uh, claims. So they always have bills for you. you got to pay this. Then another bill. Then another bill. It's never ending. Because it's there to waste your time. These claims are not genuine claims. They're not bona fide. Right? The reason or how they get away with it is number one, people have no knowledge of, uh, of who they are. And number two, these monkey people are used to this as a job. You see? And that's all they do. It's a stupid flipping role. They're playing a role. These are actors. Alright? These are not real people. They're acting. And some of them are so uh, absorbed. So absorbed in their acting, they actually believe that they have some authority. You see? That's a deception that people have been deceived. Right. The real is not... Um, the real is the nature of things. And it's to do with the raising vibrations. Or uh, having a, a mentality that's actually positive to you and not negative to you. However, the monkey people, with their bogus, how do you call it? With their claims and everything, all they try to do is. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Who are you talking? You're out, nigga. Nigga, I'm really sick. Why, uh -huh. nigga? What's the word? Okay, okay, okay. You got something for me? I'll see you in two seconds. All right. Right, yo, pull my boat on it. Right there, man. Police coming, man. Okay. Heard me? Yo, up in the game on four in the morning and it's storming every place. Just locked another way, get we on it. God have blood on his sweatpants. Right, 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 right. Carry on. So, what we're going to do is what you need is, is raise, know who you are, and then raise yourself. Right? When we talk about knowing who you are, it's not knowing what. I don't mean knowing some geographical area. It's not what knowing who you are is. Knowing who you are is knowing how your physicality works and how that connects with your spirituality. That's what knowing who you are means. People are talking about who you are, thinking you're what they, what they call erroneously ethnic background is who you are. 90% of the people in the world don't know their ethnic background. They're all mixed up. 
Well, a few people do. Some of us do. I'll care belongs like me. I know who I am. I know my physicality. And if you want to talk about ethnicity, I know that as well. So I know who I am. I know I'm not part of the devil system. I observe it. And I try to keep, keep it away from me. But yeah, so we're going to do the deception of language. So um, uh, not so much language, but we're going to do into chakras primarily. And to understand what organs are. And that organs are there specifically to create vibration. And the vibration attracts other like vibrations. So when you go into a so-called church circle, circle church, and you're going to see something called an organ. And this organ is used to move people, but through sound. So sound, what sound does is it upsets or um, distorts or changes the field which is the vacuum between one object and another. What are you going to call a vacuum? It's not a vacuum, it's space. Right? So it causes a vibration in them. This vibration travels to your eardrum. And then your eardrum vibrates and sends electrical signals to your brain. And then you decide what the vibration means, depending on your training. Okay? So organs. And in your body, you also have organs, and uh, you have the seven vital organs. And the seven vital organs correspond with the seven principles of Tahuti. And the seven colors of the rainbow, and the seven fresh met metals, and the seven days of the week, and the seven planets. Blah, seven, 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 right? The point is to activate your seven chakras. And for um, boys and girls who don't know what chakras is, we can't explain that to you right now. You're going to have to find out yourself. All right? So when you're finding out yourself what a chakra means, um, you're going to find out also what a, uh, an organ is and what kundalini is. And that is not pasta, as we've said before. So kundalini is not pasta. Your point, right? So if we, we're going to go briefly through this and try and explain this one. So, uh, flip the neck. Let's help us clear. I hope you can see that. Right, number one is mentalism. Everything is mental. Right? Everything is imagined. There's nothing real as such. Everything outside yourself is imagined. It is not real. Right? Because you put your own twist to it, depending on your training. Whatever it is that you see outside of yourself, you see it according to your experiences, your background, your religious, political, cultural beliefs. That's it. So everything is mental. You're making it up as you go along. So you can choose to see things in a positive way or a negative way. It's up to you. What you have to realize is that when you see things in a positive way, your body produces certain chemicals that affect your body in a certain way. And when you view things in a negative way, this, the opposite happens. So anyone who's interested, look up peptides. Okay, and you'll see that you need to activate yourselves through a positive mental attitude because everything is mental. And if you can do that, then that corresponds with the a precious metal, gold, and also the sun, which is crown, with the color gold. Sometimes it gets so bright it becomes white. All right, so that's mentalism. So white. Okay, A, B, C. And then correspondence, the law of correspondence, as above, so below. As we can see with that, silver moon, all right? And that's the third eye. I think you should start from the, from the lower, uh, lower chakras going up. So we start from gender. Gender, heaviest metal. So when you're dealing with gender, 
which is man and woman, when in your physical um, manifestation, that's the heaviest you can be. So this is the worst you can be where you are as a, as a physical being. So you can only get better. That's why people need to chill out. You can't get any worse than you being physical in on this plane as a physical being. You need to be lighter than that. So number one is uh, the gender, and that relates to lead. And that's Saturn, and we know about Saturn. <laughs> and the people who want to keep you around the square cube and to do satanic things, Saturnalia things, all right? Those are the people who are called... Uh, um, uh, watch a man called BAM Mag or Bit of Truth on YouTube and you can understand more about Saturn, Baphomet and people who dwell on the root chakras which is the, the base, right, base men. The base men dwell on the black and white checkered floor of the Masonic Temple, right, the lowest of the low because they have no capacity for creation. Those are your boys in blue, your boys in black, basemen, all right? One step above that, because in effect, and the metal corresponding is iron, and that correspond also to Mars. So you can, use, uh, you can say that's sacral. So anyone who is ab absorbed with the genitals in their stomach is someone who dwells on their sacral chakra. Alright? So that's all you think about. The root chakras um, and and I'd say sacral as well to do with fight and flight. Hmm? It's to do with survival. I mean the, the, the base chakras to do survival, that's what you think about. So your life involves <laughs> survival. That's it. Every day you wake up and just look for something to eat. As long as you eat, that is it, man. You've survived one day. And then you carry on the next day. And then the next day. And you keep doing that forever. And you're stuck on the base uh, of the root chakra. Mm -hmm. And some people might advance and go one step higher. But they're still on the genitals, so they're still thinking about um, sex and food. So it's always about, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Let's go and eat, drink, and have sex. That is it. That's the entire conversation. There's nothing outside of that. And uh, apart from uh, fighting and running away from things, that is it. Mm -hmm. So those are lower chakra people who dwell in lower chakras. Sometimes uh, you get a yellow belly. Mm -hmm. So somebody who's dealt with root chakras and raised the vibration a little bit and understood who they are more, and then they went up and uh, did the sex and the food and realized there's nothing much there, there's more, and then went up a little bit to the yellow. So now they have a yellow belly. They want to go higher. Now it's about willpower, and that is rhythm 10. All right, so that's where rhythm dwells. Now, if you go one step higher, then you're going to go to polarity, copper, and that's Venus, and it's the heart chakra, which is green, and that signifies when you learn what passion means and what compassion means. Whereas the guy who lives on the root chakra thinks about eating, fighting, running away, uh, and sex, the, the guy on the green chakra the Venus, the heart chakra, develops passion for something. So it doesn't matter what it is. They're going to develop passion for something. And if they do it passionately, they'll be very good at it. You know, the same level, they also develop compassion. All right, so this is where the, let's say the middle path is the heart chakra. And then if you go higher, it goes into the Tahuti principle of vibration. Everything is vibration. And the metal that corresponds is mercury and that's the throat chakra because that's your vocal codes and it's a vocal code that vibrate that makes a thing oh, that upsets the field that causes somebody else's eardrum to hear you. Supposedly. Right? Now, old question. 
If a tree falls in a forest and there's no one to hear it, does it make a sound? The answer is, if there's no ear to hear it, it doesn't make a sound, I think. Okay, uh, what else do we have? Then we have, uh, we did correspondence, and that, that's the moon, corresponding to your third eye is indigo, and I want you to become a visionary. So, this way you've advanced yourself and you are doing um, visionary work. So, you're using your frontal lobes, because initially, the, in fact, hmm, let me try if I can draw this. on your ass. Alright, so, I suppose we could divide it into three. Uh, so let's imagine this is a monkey man's brain. And let's imagine he does have a brain. So you have the two hemispheres. And then you have, um, it's not really like that, but I'm going to do it for argument's sake. So you have your reptilian brain, your mammalian brain, and then your frontal lobes. Okay? So here is the, um, the flight and fight, the lower chakra. If you happen to go higher in, and work on your mammalian brain, uh, you develop some compassion and some passion, hopefully, monkey man. And if you go even higher, here and start using your frontal lobes, you'll have calculation, imagination, you'll be able to be creative and do anything. So you, you won't depend on fighting or f of fleeing or fighting. You'll be able to resolve situation uh, in various ways. That's the entire point. As long as you're living on your lower chakras and you're rooted to your base and you won't let go, right? You'll never achieve, you'll never see the farther, which is here. In order to do that, you have to go through the heart, which is here in the middle chakra. So you get three and three. Mm -hmm. Okay. A, B, C. How easy is this stuff? Uh, okay. Right, what's the next one? So, how do you raise your vibration? You have to kill your your seven sins. Alright, deadly sins. So you gotta get rid, rid of the gluttony. I gotta get rid of jealousy, hate, gluttony. Um, uh, what's the other one? Pride, anger, vengeance, all the stuff. And you have to attach to nothing because everything is imagined. It's not real. All right. Okay. Now, this is where we are. Right, so the time of the apocalypse is now. And this doesn't mean, I'm not going to say it's the end of the world, it's the end of the, the world. The world is not going to end. Right? It might change, but it's not going to end. Nothing ends. So this is the transition. It's been going on for a few years. It's still transiting. Uh, so now we're in the phase which is called a mutable phase. Right? In change. It's mutable. Then we're going to go into a fixed phase next. Oh, sorry, a cardinal point next, where we're going to begin a new phase. So this is a transition. Now, the vibrations are like that, as far as, far as I can see them. Right? So you're living in a third dimension. Within the third dimension, you have wavelengths and frequencies. And those are the ones that deal with the seven chakras. So when you're dealing with uh, frequencies of four... 0.05 to 4.80 that's the red red zone means you're not vibrating very high so you need to raise your vibration and try and get to 6.97 to 
to 7.89. And once you've done that, then there's more. Because you have the fourth dimension and the fifth dimension also that you got to deal with. So this is graduation. Most people are here in kindergarten. And when we talk to them about concepts of about, oh, listen, uh, there's something called uh, high school. They have no idea what we're talking about. I'm saying you have to get over this kindergarten quickly. Because there's other things to do up here. And every time we say this to people, they look at us with their two nigger eyes, like we're talking something strange. You need to raise your vibration and stop being ignorant and stop conflict. You see, and start start collaboration. You see, instead of wasting time and some bullshit. Right. I saw y'all niggas talk about all fucking day, know. man. Fuck cars and all that shit, all fucking day. Niggas shit, man. We've been swinging and all in the good and to cut it out, man. Cause y'all niggas, baby. Remember the four runners, Corsica's back with the gold onions, Maxima, yup, stands. These were St. Vincent's, Dotson's, the rollers, all 